So uh, some of these lessons, um, some of these points are going to be uh, cancel any of that because it's bullshit. To the channel everybody and uh, we're gonna do Jim Diesel's top 10 tips for riding in the autumn stroke winter stroke fall depending on what part of the country you are what part of the world you're from and uh, yeah some of these are gonna be gentle reminders for all you legends out there that ride motorcycles all through the year and um, and some of them might uh, might be useful for some of you people that are not quite so legendary and uh, just started are new to biking so yeah riding in the autumn if you're lucky to have the, a lovely day like it is today we all want to be safe we don't want to have any accidents so uh, let's get into this then so number one is a bike preparation make sure you know ensure that your bike is prepped for the winter acf 50 all your parts ensure your uh, brake calipers and that are clean and clear of any crud and dirt and also uh, you know the little bobbins on the if you've got floating discs ensure that they're all working freely your chain's nice and lubed up and uh, yeah so ensure that your bike is nice and winterized for when you're riding in the winter number two now this is a bit of a drama and this also leads on to number three is obviously the sun's going to be lower in the sky in the evenings and in the mornings so on that note we'll get on to number three because of that it's going to be getting in your eyes so ensure that you've either got like i've got now a, a helmet with either a internal visor so you can cut the sun out or you've got a nice pair of sunglasses or if you're pr particularly uh, legendary you can have a tinted visor however if you're going to take a tinted visor out this time of the year make sure you're carrying a clear one i don't know what it's like in your country but you could possibly get pulled over by the police in this country so that was uh, number one number two number three road conditions right this is going to lead on to a couple of others. So, the dramas we're going to have is, is like you said, getting up in the mornings, the roads are going to be damp, generally, because you've either had ice or they're going to be, it's been cold the night before and it's all sweated. You're also going to get leaves on the road, depending on where you are. So, riding out in the countryside is particularly bad. And you get leaves on the road, it's absolute lethal, especially at low speeds. They turn to slime, you slip on them, you've had it. Which then brings me on to number four with the road conditions is uh, diesel and, and oil and shit like that that's put down by HGVs and lorries. So just be aware of that. If you're, new bike, if you're like the guy, new biker, who rides in London, they've got a lot of those type of trucks and stuff and it just lays down, just stay well clear of that. Which brings you on to number five, which is picking your line when you're on the road as well. So if you can see a clear dry line, stick to that. Obviously road positioning, you've got to pay attention to that because you don't want to be uh, putting yourself at risk with other car users. And uh, yeah, so if you've got that dry line, stick on that. You don't want to be riding in the slimy shit. You can see when there's like diesel in the road and all of that crap. So stay well clear of that because you don't want to be getting on that. So number six, yeah, white lines and road markings here in the UK they are particularly slimy and slippery so stay well clear of those especially if you're going to accelerate and stuff because you can either end up losing the front or you're putting power down and the back of step out and if you're a newbie rider that's going to put the wind right up here if you're a legend then not necessarily you're going to spin up the back which brings me up to seven throttle control braking so because of the road conditions, just take it a bit easier. Ride within your limits. Don't ride at fucking 90, uh, 110% everywhere. Bring it down a notch. Ride at 90, ride at 80. Take in the awesome autumn countryside and the surroundings and all the colors of autumn brings and winter. Okay, just try it, bring it back a notch because your braking distances are gonna increase. And like I said, with all the other crap that's on the road, you need to be well aware of it. Plus the other road users, because of that low sun in the sky, they may or may not see you. And it's a, it is a quite a lethal time for bikers. You need to be aware of that. So just pay my pay credence to that, I should say. Number eight. If you've got a car and you don't need to ride, because the road conditions are that shit, then use the car. 
Don't go out, especially in the winter. If you haven't got heated grips, you're not hardcore, legendary biker, then use a the bloody car. Don't go out, because uh, you don't want to put yourself at risk. You want to save yourself when the uh, spring and summer comes around the following year. And then you can get out and tear those roads apart. Number nine. I don't know why I'm holding my hands up, but number nine is like, I'm going to repeat, number seven is, as like I said, drive within your limits. You don't, well, you don't need to be driving at, like I said, 110%. You don't need to be getting it over all the way because you don't know what's on the roads. If you live in the countryside, like I said, here, we've got the tractors out doing their bit, harvesting and all the rest of it. There's, there could be mud in the road, there could be anything. you just got to your Jedi Force senses out and use those. Just be well aware. You've got to just think around every corner there could be a disaster waiting to happen. Especially like here in the countryside as well, dead animals. Dead animals all over the shop. And uh, you, go, you don't want to go uh, running one of those over. We've got like badgers and stuff. We've even got deer. You know what I mean? You come across a blind corner and you go and find one of them. You don't want to be coming across on one of those and uh, crashing your bike. Which brings me to number 10. Which uh, is specific to here, because I live out in the countryside, is the wild animals. Now, we get deer, like I said, and we get uh, monk jacks. So, uh, you definitely don't want to be hitting a deer on a bleeding bike. Monk jacks, not so, they're about the size of a small dog. And obviously deer, well, as you know, you can gather, they're, they're pretty big. That would be a bad day for everybody. So just be well aware. I thought I'd just um, share my 10, uh, 10 points there for autumn winter, just to get you back in. Just a little gentle reminder for everybody out there, those that are riding all the year round, that there are those legends out there, if you're a new biker, obviously you, you might find some of that useful. Um, yeah, just stay safe, ride safe, stay within your limits, don't go fucking mad, don't go balls out everywhere, because it's not, not necessarily yourself, but it could be the other road users. You just don't want to put yourself in that situation and you definitely don't want to be spending time in hospital this time of the year and ruining your Christmas. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Tell you what I should have said. Number 11, if you got to the end of this video, is wear the correct uh, riding equipment. Wear proper winter gloves, not like what I'm doing now. Okay, if you've got uh, heated grips, use them. If you've got waterproof jackets, because it's probably going to be rainy and shitty, wear them. Prep, preparation, prevents piss poor performance. So make sure that you've got the right, uh, right riding attire, because you don't want to be wearing shit kit and being cold and then you lose your concentration and, and then you end up having an accident. Anyway, that's my bit. <laughs>